after having agreed to join the Norton Works team, my first appearance as a member of the team was record-breaking at Monlary at the end of '49. We had managed to get some practice in, and we discovered that Artie could lap 0.4 of a second quicker than I could, in spite of being flat out. And we overcame that by some sticky tape round the excess on the arms and the same on the legs and immediately I was lapping at the same speed as Artie. Yeah. So this made, made me think of it then. I thought, well, if it makes such a big difference here, it must make some difference even in road racing. So I must look at the possibility of a really close fitting light one-piece one suit, which should help my road racing. Jeff had not only discovered the benefits of streamlining by modifying his leathers, but alongside Norton teammates Artie Bell and Eric Oliver, they'd broken 21 world speed records at Montlary. After this experience with taping the leathers up and one thing or another and yeah. realising that it would be a, a help even in racing, Grand Prix racing, uh, I went straight to the people who made my leathers, the original ones, two-piece, uh, in Liverpool and asked them did, did they think that they could make me a close-fitting, very light, one-piece set of leathers with but without a lining and uh, they said yes they thought they could but they'd need a pattern so I then went to my local tailor a bloke called Frank Barker in St Helens mm. and uh, asked him could he make this pattern he said yes he could make this pattern for the leathers and um, this he said about doing and produced uh, a very good pattern and he immediately said you know he said I, I'd like to have a go at making these leathers mm. um, it could be right up my street so he'd never done anything like this before so I said well okay if you want to and uh, he in fact made up a set which were by no means perfect but they were they were in the right direction you know and uh, eventually this one piece it with very little uh, well virtually no padding just double thicknesses in places, very, very fine leather as well, which weighed less than five pounds, whereas a normal suit would be 10 or 12 pounds, two piece. The other thing was that I wanted this separate lining. So I went to some people in London who made ballet outfits and um, they said, yeah, they could make something to suit me, which included the feet and everything. And uh, they were cotton more or less. Mm. And um, that was, that's what I used it as the liner inside the suit without being in contact. The idea being that they would slide independently, so to speak, and give me more freedom of movement, yeah. plus the lightweight and, the, and everything else. Yeah. And of course, there were lots of ribald uh, comments from other riders about this ballet rider, you know, this ballet uh, performer, yeah. uh, which I managed to withstand. And of course, eventually they were all doing the same thing anyway.